Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Russian troops have abandoned another key Ukrainian city as their retreat continues. Troops left the city of Lyman so rapidly that they left the bodies of comrades in the streets. The city is part of an area that Moscow illegally annexed last week. The fate of Paul and Ruben Flores is now in the hands of jurors. Closing arguments wrapped up this afternoon. Paul Flores is charged with killing Stockton native Kristen Smart back in 1996. His father, Ruben Flores, is a accused of helping hide her body. A text thread with racist and hateful language was found between students at Buljan Middle School in Roseville. In a statement, the principal told parents that while he cannot disclose consequences for the students involved, they did take it seriously. Country music icon Loretta Lynn has died at the age of 90. Her hits include Coal Miner's Daughter, You Ain't Woman Enough, and The Pill. Her autobiography turned into an Oscar-winning film. She died Tuesday at her home in Tennessee. Oklahoma's governor, the latest to sign anti-transgender legislation, signing a bill prohibiting federal funding for transgender medical treatment for young people and urged the legislature to adopt a statewide ban when it returns next year. Investigators in Indonesia say locked gates contributed to the deaths of 131 people following a soccer game. They say some gates were still locked when spectators started rushing to escape tear gas fired by police. Another turn in the Elon Musk Twitter saga with the Tesla CEO sending a letter to Twitter's board offering to buy the company at the originally agreed on price of $44 billion. Twitter says it plans to accept the offer. More than 39,000 pounds of trash and debris were removed from the American River during a cleanup event two weeks ago. More than 1,300 volunteers picked up debris from Discovery Park to Black Miner's Bar in Lake Natoma. The city of Folsom is giving out kitchen pails that can be used to store food waste for composting. You can pick one up next Saturday, October 15th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the historic Folsom Farmer's Market. Chinese officials are working to create what they call a kindergarten for tigers. The goal? To help the native South China tiger maintain their natural instincts. The critically endangered cats are bred in captivity. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.